As the Ebola death toll in West Africa continues to climb, researchers here in Southeast Texas are seeking a cure. The University of Texas Medical Branch at Galveston studies Ebola samples in its national lab. Fox 4's Lauren Hewitt reports virologists are closer to a vaccine for humans than ever before. When most Texans think of Galveston, they imagine waves and sand. But not far from the beach at the University of Texas Medical Branch campus is the Galveston National Lab. So there are actually now four or five vaccines that can completely protect laboratory animals against Ebola. Where internationally recognized virologist Dr. Thomas Geisbert is working to find a vaccine for Ebola. One of those that we do a lot of research on here at UTMB and what we consider our lead candidate is a vaccine uh, called uh, vesicular stomatitis virus or VSV for short. UTMB received a 26 million dollar grant from the National Institutes of Health this year. The purpose of this grant is to um, really further develop and advance what we think are three of the leading post-exposure treatments. So this would be like if you're already exposed to Ebola, what do you do? And Dr. Geisbert says that exposure is spreading over a wide portion of West Africa. And it'll pop up in one place and then another place and another place. And the problem is that the, the skilled staff, the people uh, who normally respond to these outbreaks, who are responsible for containing them, the resources are spread thin, they're spread thin, and I think that makes it more difficult to combat. But he says the chances of the epidemic spreading out of Africa are highly unlikely. This is actually as close to UTMB's Galveston National Lab as we can get with the camera for security reasons. Dr. Geisbert says security inside the lab is state of the art, and the lab where he studies Ebola is like a box within a box within a box. After I go through multiple layers of security, I will go into a change room, you know, strip down to your birthday suit, put on scrubs, um, walk in through a personal shower, like just, you know, a regular shower. Uh, then I don't take a shower, just walk through and you go into a change room where you don your spacesuit. All of that security while they work on a vaccine for Ebola. I think we're anywhere from a few years to longer and, and it's a long process and I think that one of the challenges that we face is that there's not a large global market for a vaccine for Ebola there's, or a treatment. There's a small global market. Researching a cure here in Galveston that could save lives wherever Ebola spreads. In Galveston, Lauren Hewitt, Box 4 News. The Ebola virus isn't transmitted through the air but by contact with an infected person or their bodily fluids.